Hello, my name is Joey. I'm a product documentation manager at Yext. Today I'll be walking you through how to easily add holiday hours to all of your entities by uploading a CSV. Holiday hours let your customers know when your business has an irregular schedule, such as holidays or special events. To get started, click on the Add Content button. Then, click Entity Upload. To begin, choose a file that contains all of the holiday hour updates you would like to make. You can also find holiday hour templates on help.yex.com to help you get started. Before we select our file, let's take a look at the spreadsheet. First, you need to make sure that you have either the entity ID or the Yext ID included in your spreadsheet. I'll show you how to find those later in this video. I also have the name field for visualization, however, this field is optional. You will also need the date of the holiday hours, but you will need to make sure it is in the correct format. We recommend using month slash date slash year. This date is in the correct format, so let's change these cells to the correct date format. If your business is closed on a particular date, simply write closed in the holiday hours time cell next to the date your business is closed. This cell has split hours. Make sure to add the comma and the space. If you need to update your business hours for a specific date, you can add in the opening hours dash closing hours. If your business is open 24 hours on a specific date, you can add 12 a.m. dash 12 a.m. Lastly, the header for holiday hours should be written out with hours, close angle bracket, holiday hours, close angle bracket, and date or times. This makes it easier for the system to map to the correct holiday hours field. However, if you accidentally put date or time, you can manually map to the correct holiday hour fields, which you will see in a moment. Back in the platform, you can choose the file with your correctly formatted holiday hours. If you already have an existing holiday hours configuration, you can select that here, which you will see how to do later on in this video. You can also select your desired language. Once you click Continue and upload your CSV, YEX will automatically map any columns it recognizes in your file to fields in the platform. Here we have date and time but underneath we have the correct format for the holiday hours date field. Since there are a lot of date and time fields for each entity, you want to make sure to map this to the holiday hour date field and the holiday hour times field manually, so the system knows which fields to update. Just make sure you're selecting hours, holiday hours, date or times. It is also important to note that anywhere you have split hours, you will need to remove the comma so the system knows not to split the comma separated values. You will need to do this for all of your split holiday hours. After you click continue, YEX will analyze your CSV and check for any errors. If you don't have any errors, you will need to confirm each group of changes by checking a box to acknowledge your updates on each tab. This spreadsheet did not include any new entities, so check the box and click Next. This spreadsheet updated two entities, holiday hours date and times were updated. There weren't any unchanged entities, so let's check the box and click Next. And lastly, there weren't any missing entities in the CSV, so check the box and click Submit Changes. Now the Holiday Hours field will be updated in the platform and on any listings or Yux powered products. Here is a summary page, which shows the status of the upload. This may take some time depending on how many updates you are making. This is where you can save your file configuration for future uploads.
Now we can check on the holiday hours field for these entities. To do this, click Content, then click Entities. To check if the fields were updated on both entities, I will select both and click Edit in the drop down menu. Here we are looking at two entities. If I scroll down, I can see the holiday hours field has been updated with the correct date and times. You can also update the holiday hours field in bulk this way. By clicking on this field, you can add additional holiday hours for both of these entities. Back on the Entities page, you can see the Entity ID here in the Entity Preview. If you click on a single entity, you can also see the Entity ID field, which needs to be included in your spreadsheet. However, this isn't ideal if you need multiple Entity IDs. The best way to get your Entity IDs in bulk is to export them. To do this, select the entities you would like to export. You can also use folders, labels, or the filter options to select as many as you like. Once you have all of the entities selected, click Export Entities in the drop-down menu. Make sure the data format and file format match your desired options, then click Continue. Now you can see the Entity ID and the XID have been automatically added to the export. If you already have holiday hours on your entities, you can include the holiday hours field in your export to make it easier to configure your spreadsheet. Here you can see the date and time will be separated. After clicking Continue, you will need to name your file before the export occurs. You can also save your export settings for later. Thanks for tuning in today, and I hope you enjoyed this demo. Please visit our YouTube channel or hitchhikers.yx.com for more content and continued learning.